I love it! What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and chances are you stumbled on this video because you want to find the best and easiest way to train up your players. Well, we've got the ultimate tutorial for you. You've probably got Neymar. If you're a newcomer or if you're short on trainer XP, that is how you train up your players. So every single player starts off on level one and it's up to you to train them to their full potential, right? But trainer XP can be harder to come by now in V3.2. That's where this guide comes in. So if you do appreciate the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already. And roughly most players, including Neymar, right? The new free Neymar is going to take about 100,000. Most take about between 40 and 100. You can unlock trainer XP naturally through match pass, through objectives, through events, through login bonuses, and all of that as well. There's also the older method that still applies. I've done a full video on this, where you sign free five star, five star players and you release them straight away. You can do that if you have lots of GP, but now that GP, you know, you can use GP for contracts and stuff, it does kind of, you know, negate that a little bit, right? So we're going to show you the best way. Let's get into it. All right, let's. So step one is to create a brand new game plan. So this is essentially you can call it whatever you want. This is essentially just a brand new squad that we're going to create for this tutorial and for training up purposes only. So you can rotate in whatever players that you want and have something like this. So ideally, I would use the players that I want to max out as quickly as possible. And then once they're maxed out or I've gone as far as I want to go with their training, I'll just pop them out and pop somebody back in and just literally farm this the whole time when I have an hour here, an hour there or whatever you want to do it, right? We're also going to buy a new manager. So the manager that you're looking for is going to be a manager that gives a boost, right, to five star players, okay? So five star players are players that have five stars on their card, and this will give a boost by 100% during matches, okay? That's going to tie in with what we're going to be doing in the new My League, which is V3.2's newest addition for offline modes and offline fans. Now we're going to go over here to the exchange point store, right? So this is going to be my league items, and we're going to go all the way down here to EXP points by four. Now this is going to cost 9,000. It's probably the most expensive item in the store here, but this is what we're going to want to buy, right? It's going to be effective for five matches, and this essentially is going to give you a multiplier of four on your trainer XP, okay? So what we're going to be doing is playing a couple of matches like this, and once we can just kind of continue to earn 9,000 points, you can literally keep doing this every five matches. So you use it for five matches. You can choose to sim the games or play the games or whatever. I'll show you the best method here and pick a select, select a match, a match level that's going to suit your skill level, right? I would say pick a match level that you're pretty much able to score uh, whenever you want to. So if that's professional or regular or whatever, uh, what you want to do is make it as easy as possible. You don't want to be losing matches um, because it will double up with the points and stuff for the rewards and stuff like that, right? So just score an early goal or two. Then you can go into the pause menu and go to player controls, go to AI controlled. That's going to put you into sim mode. It's very, very easy to do that. And then if you do concede a goal or two, you can always just pop in uh, a course. You know, obviously we, ha we are using Manchester United's kits, so they're following the following their bad luck in real life as well. I've just, you know, never been able to secure a lead. But we do just sub ourselves back in here. And obviously we're going to skip ahead a little bit here and just score the, the winner, the winning goal. And then that'll be it, right? Now, one thing I will say as well is that it doesn't really matter what you win by. If it's 10-0 or 1-0 or whatever, it doesn't really matter. The result isn't important. The result is only important to maximize your My League points so that you can continue to buy those for 9,000. Now, look at this screen here. This is our experience points. And we get a bonus of plus 700% on this, right? So that is the manager boost, the manager XP trainer boost that we got with Tuchel as a five-star manager and the boost that he gives. And then also we're going to be getting that multiplier that we just bought in the My League points, right? So you will see there straight away for the likes of Foden or Correa or any of those guys, right? We've gone up like four levels straight away. I mean, that means six trainer points, okay, or progression points. So we've gone from level one to level four in one game. Foden doesn't need to score, he doesn't need to assist, he literally just needs to play the game, it doesn't make a difference how long he plays for, we'll get into that in a second, but that is basically it, right, now there's a couple of other bits and pieces to get into right here, but that's if, that is it really in a nutshell of what you're going to be doing, it's just going to be rinse and repeat, right, and I'm going to show you the progress here, so this will follow through for your whole squad, any player that plays within the 90 minutes is going to get this boost of 700% plus, it can be a little bit finicky if you sub them on with like, you know, five minutes or 10 minutes left in the game. But all you're going to want to do is work on getting those My League points up and creating a very cool ecosystem of always getting 9,000 points, right? 
and then you can sub in players. Now, one thing I will say as well, or an extra thing is, I would always have five players on the bench that you want to train up as well. And then after 70 minutes, just sub them in and you'll get the same rewards, right? I would also say be careful when you are selecting the match level because if you run out of my league points, it's going to delay your progress a little bit. Always make sure that you have at least 9,000 from the five games that it's going to cover you, right? Because obviously you need to have 9,000 coming in to keep this going because you always need to be able to buy this experience uh, for 9,000, if that makes sense. So, you know, there's no point playing all the games on low difficulty unless you're hitting all the match uh, requirements for the completion. So, or the, you know, whatever it is in the game that it asks you to do, right? So again, we're up here and all we're going to do is to show you this, that it works, because I know people will ask, is we're literally in the last 20 minutes of the game. We're going to sub off five players. Again, we have the lead. We don't need to worry about losing this game because we're just going to finish this one out and win 4-1 because it's on a lower level of difficulty, right? We go back out and now instead of just the starting 11 having it, we also get our starting 11 plus our five subs. We've only brought them on for, what, 20, 15 minutes? They still get the boost, right? Sometimes, as I said, it can be finicky. So if you play a, a player for 90 minutes, they can get a bigger boost, but it is finicky. It's hard to kind of judge it sometimes, okay? But essentially, that's all you need to do. You're still working on your match pass. So you're going to get everything in there, right? Last thing I will say, lads, right? <coughs> Throat's a bit sore today. But last thing that I will say, right? is when you are training these players, I would always recommend that you have a couple of players that you just want to fast track, right? Because you do kind of pay a little bit more attention to what's going on. Don't waste time training up players that you're never going to use just to kind of complete it, unless you want to grind it. But eventually you will see this progress, right? This is after three games, right? Where we've got Neymar from level one to level eight. That's not a lot, but I mean, if you're going to be playing like 10, 15 games, it does make a big difference when you're grinding trainer points, right? You don't have to do anything. You're literally just playing games and you can obviously practice against the AI as well to have a challenge, right? So that is it, lads, for me. If you enjoyed this,